Unfortunately, it's not the verdict we were hoping for. Dr. Kathy Middleton was hoping the man who fatally stabbed her husband eight years ago at her Loves Park medical office would remain behind bars. But as the verdict was read Wednesday during 60-year-old Roland Briel's first-degree murder trial, she knew that was not going to be the case. We, the jury, find the defendant, Roland Briel, not guilty of first-degree murder. But the reality is, is he's still a man that killed another person, my husband, and now he just gets to live amongst us instead of in the prison. A jury found Brielt, who's been in the Winnebago County Jail since 2016, not guilty of first-degree murder, but guilty of involuntary manslaughter for fatally stabbing Middleton's husband at the time, Dusty Boots Saloon owner Joseph Pendergrass. He didn't have a criminal state of mind. What the jury found him guilty of was a, a reckless state of mind by swinging the knife during the fight. Because Brielt has served more time in jail awaiting trial than the five-year maximum prison sentence for involuntary manslaughter, he was released Wednesday afternoon. And while he won't be going to prison, Brielt, by law, must still attend a sentencing hearing. The judge cannot send him to prison, as we note from what you covered in the courtroom. And so he has to be released. That's the first reason why he has to be released, because he doesn't have to serve another day. And the, the sentencing now is uh, perfunctory. And even though Roland Briel will be released from the county jail this afternoon, he must satisfy pre-sentencing conditions. He must not possess a deadly weapon. He must not leave the state of Illinois. And he is prohibited from contacting members of Joseph Pendergrass's family. Middleton, who testified for the state, says reliving the day Pendergrass was killed took an emotional toll. It was tough being on the stand. It was terrible to see the videos. Brielt and Pendergrass got into a physical altercation on May 31st, 2016, inside Advanced Medical Rehabilitation. Brielt claimed he stabbed Pendergrass in self-defense. Reporting for your home team, Jim Haggerty, Eyewitness News.